Hey, welcome to day 11 of Streams in the Desert. Um, it's a free devotional provided by YouVersion, and I hope you're having a great day today, and I hope this devotional uh, you'll find encouragement in, as well as the scripture verse. So day 11, it says, We should not only understand the importance of our waiting on God, but also realize something even more wonderful. The Lord waits on us. And the very thought of this waiting on us will give us renewed motivation and inspiration to wait for him. Isaiah 30, 18. It will also provide inexpressible confidence that our waiting will never be in vain. Therefore, in the spirit of waiting on God, let us seek to discover exactly what it means right now. The Lord has an inconceivably glorious purpose for each of his children. And I just want to take a moment, and that's you watching this right now. Uh, if you know Christ, uh, he's got a plan for you and wants to invite you into it. If this is true, you ask, why is it that he continues to wait longer and longer to offer his grace and to provide the help I seek? Even after I come to him and waited on, on him, he does so because he's a wise gardener who waits for the land to yield its valuable crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rain. James 5, 7. God knows he cannot gather the fruit until it's ripe, and he knows precisely when we are spiritually ready to receive blessing for our gain and our glory. And waiting in the sunshine of his love is what will ripen our soul for his blessings. Also, waiting under the clouds of trials is an important is as important, for they will ultimately produce showers of blessing. Rest assured that if God waits longer than we desire, it is simply to make the blessings doubly precious. Remember, he waited for thousands of years, but when the time had fully come, God sent his son, Galatians 4.4. 4. Our time is in his hands, and he will quickly avenge those he has chosen, swiftly coming to our support without ever delaying even one hour too long. And that's Andrew Murray, this is a devotional provider. And the verse for today is Isaiah thirty eighteen. Therefore, the Lord waits to be gracious to you, and therefore he exhausts himself to show mercy to you. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are those who wait for him. So I hope you've been encouraged today. Uh, if you find it encouraging, feel free to share it with someone else. And uh, I just want to make mention that uh, on this Sunday, we'll be having a church online service at 1030. If you've not checked it out, uh, you should come check it out. 1030, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a great place to learn more about Jesus, get to praise his name. Uh, we have a special children's message uh, provided by Karen this Sunday. And uh and I'll be excited to share a little bit more about Palm Sunday and how we can we can uh, just join in with praising with all creation. So uh, looking forward to connecting with you tomorrow and I'll talk to you then. All right. God bless.